So today is a subject which is off the beaten track. I was just talking uh, to our eminent speaker. So we've all heard of history, but we are now going to take you to prehistory. We've been talking about the excavation sites, they've been in the news. We have talked about Adi Chanilur, we have talked about uh, Kiradi. But this is going to take you much, much back in time to the dawn of civilization when a picture has to convey how life used to be in those days. The investor mix in the said funds comprises of high network individuals, insurance companies, corporates, public institutions and family offices. His hands-on experience comes handy for getting a wider perspective on the mid-sized businesses, especially in consumer and financial services domain. He, apart from whatever he does in his day job, he is an avid reader of history and he is passionate about playing golf whenever time permits. So I am sure he is going to, whatever the eminent speaker leaves out in his, uh, in his initial presentation, I am sure he is going to... Uh, grill it out of Mr. Gandhi Rajan. So without further ado, let me give the floor to Mr. Gandhi Rajan, who said he would introduce the speaker. Normally I would do it, but today the privilege is his. So please, Mr. Gandhi Rajan, please introduce the uh, speaker. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, you know, it's a little odd you know, when a banker talks about history and, uh, you know, rock art, but... Uh, uh, but I think it's more to do with Madurai and Tamil rather than like, you know, banking and other stuff. So I think, let me take you back to year 91. Uh, I had an opportunity to do my business administration in uh, Madurai University. Uh, the good thing was uh, our department building was 50 meters away from, uh, you know, one of the you know, very finest departments in Madurai University, which was fine arts and art history, uh, which was led at that point in time by none other than Padma Shri uh, Vijayalashmi Nagadinida Krishnan, uh, who she documented, she sung more than 10,000 songs in folk songs, and her husband, uh, uh, Dr. Navadinida Krishnan. Uh, so every day around 5 o'clock, uh, you know, once the classes get over in business administration, because they only teach you common sense, uh, you know, you just want to acquire more, you just walk into the other side and get to hear the songs. Also, like I think that department, you know, had theatric arts, which means like you had lovely looking women, like I think performing all the time throughout the day, like you had an incentive to go there and you need an anchor to have a friendship to make sure that you go every day. And I found an anchor, which was Gandhi, which was Gandhi Rajan and he continues to be my anchor for my interest towards this. And that's how kind of life has moved. So just to tell you, he was MA Arts History in, uh, you know, in Madhra University, but how he landed up. So I think you know, he was actually a chemistry student uh, and those days, like, you know, whatever uh, courses you had, to, you got, you tell your parents, I got it, and then they pay the fees, and after that, you start discovering your life. That's what happened to him. He did MA Arts History, then he came here to Chennai to pursue his PhD, but his calling, you know, in between, he gave up and said, like, my calling in life is going to be rock art, and I'm going to... That was the time, it was a load, you know, it was road less traveled because every historian and archaeologist was more interested in looking at the bigger sites, big temple, like Cholas, Pandyas. You know, we were interested more in history, but there is something called prehistory, which is like without any religion, how like the basic hunters existed, how human society, how Tamil country evolved over a period of 5,000, 7,000 years, or much more. So, you know, if you have to see him in action, uh, you know, some of these... When he, when he does the field visit, uh, it's like a, he's called spider. He can just climb up the rocks and see and show you like I think what it depicts. And it's a, you know, it's a great pleasure to have. I think one of these days, I think if, when he does the next visits, I think I would like to invite a few of you. But the point I'm trying to make is when human, you know, hunting society, how did they leave behind the knowledge? That's how rock art came into picture. They depicted what needs to be told to the next generation. Could it be, it could be hunting, it could be even the basic, let's say like the man and animal conflict. How do you handle animals when they come in? So that's how the history, prehistory depiction of rock arts evolved. And much before anyone did it in Tamil Nadu, he has been doing it for the last two and a half decades. It has created considerable amount of interest after he wrote papers, documentaries, 
He has got six or seven documentaries to his credits, and they are wonderful to watch. Uh, you know, we will share the links subsequently, but I think that will give you the person. So here is a person who travels 15, 20 days in a month, only to do this field visits and like do it. And he's part of Tamil Virtual Academy now. He's a resource person there. Government has uh, given a project which says like you can document 100 such prehistoric sites. 80 have been already been documented. So government has also taken interest. So I don't think uh, I should carry on further. Uh, you know, so we are not, I think I, I'm sure all of us are in the same generation. I'm not seeing this people from the bro generation. I think which uh, people, we belong to that Mapla Machan generation. So before, uh, you know, I could, uh, you know, I could ask my Mapla, Mr. Kandirajan to come and deliver the lecture. Please, thank you. Yeah, I will, before it gets into, I just want to give a small, you know, how it looks. Now, what is rock arts before he gets into, uh, you know, you want to pay for this? Before he gets into the. As we reached the site, really we got excited because first thing the size of the shelter, it's a huge shelter, it's about 200 meters high and about 300 meters long. sites in India are given very less important but which is one of the oldest remains of human past. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. No. You can take us to um, good evening to all. I have to say thanks to everybody, Chennai International Center, giving me good opportunity to present. It's a good privilege to me to present in front of you about my work. I think our president and Balamuran, they introduced me elaborately. Uh, I, myself, I wanted to introduce. Actually, basically, I was very much interested in art when I was childhood. But some reason, my parents put me into science subject. But after when I complete my graduation, I decided to give up the science degree. Then I went to fine arts college. Then I did my diploma in fine arts in Chennai Igmore College. Uh, there we have one paper, history of art. So all my friends, they focused in practical art. But my interest was that time, the history of art. Then I give up, the, again, I give up the fine arts course after I complete my two years. Then I came for art history. So for the first time, I had a chance to uh, understand the world civilization, world art, and Indian art. And art. So we have seen a lot of books uh, about world art, Indian art, especially Ajanta, Ellora, so many things. When you look at good art book for Tamil art, it's very difficult to find because not many books published so far. So then I decided what subject to take for my research. So I did my PhD in archaeology department in Chen Madras University. See, everyone suggests me to take some temple study or inscription study or sculptural studies. So people easily get PhD after a few years. Then my interest was uh, the mural paintings of Tamil Nadu, uh, especially the Vijayanagara, Vijayanagara period, around 1400 to 1800, that period. So I travel almost all the, uh, mostly 100 temples where mural paintings are found. So uh, after I documented more than 60 mural painting sites, either in temple and palaces, I wanted to see how this mural tradition evolved. So I went to library and found some book and read. But very few references only we have about the prehistorical rock art. Very few references only. Then I decided to explore and document the cave art in Tamil Nadu. So by the time I joined as a guest lecturer in Government Fine Arts College in Chennai. So that time I had a good opportunity. The teachers and students from the colleges helped me to take me. And I also took them to the cave painting site. By the time this field of rock art was not familiar in Indian archaeologists. But in other rest of India, in Africa, Australia, America and Europe countries, rock art is, is a one of the main discipline in archaeology department. But in India, they don't give much importance. Then I decided, okay, my topic is only rock art of prehistoric time. So I discovered more than 35 rock art sites in the last 20 years with the, with, with the government support and without sub, any support. With my, my friends supported me. Nearly 20 years I traveled in the Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats and many hillocks in Tamil Nadu. As well as I travel many places in Northern India especially Bimbitka and other places also. I wanted to compare this thing. So now I'm going to give my small presentation. 
what is rock art rock art refers to a form of artistic expression that involves creating images or designs on natural rock surfaces often in outdoor settings this art form has been practiced by various cultures throughout human history and can provide valuable insight into the beliefs rituals and daily life of ancient societies in rakar there are two categories one pictograph the other one is petroglyph the the pictograph these are rakar images created by applying pigments such as minerals plant materials or animal blood directly to the rock surface pictographs often feature intricate designs symbols and scenes painted in various colors petroglyphs petroglyphs are images or designs that are carved or engraved into the rock surface they are created by removing layers of rock to reveal the underlying surface and they can range from simple simple symbols to intricate depiction of animals humans and other subject in all over the world the way of the creation of rock art is very similar the prehistoric society almost they use the same technique so we'll see the pictograph artists have historically used brushes made from various materials such as animal hair plant fibers or feathers to apply pigments to the rock surface pigments for creating pictographs often come from natural sources including minerals clay charcoal and other plant materials these materials are ground into fine powder and mixed with binding agent like water animal fat to create paint sometimes they use vegetable juice and other materials also the petroglyph artists create petroglyphs by carving or engraving the rock surface with stone tools such as chisels and hammer stone why the rock art is important for present day the cultural significance of rock art rock art often holds significant cultural and spiritual importance for the communities that created it it can serve as a form of storytelling documenting important events myths or religious rituals in some cases it may also have served as a means of communication historical and archaeological value rock art is valuable to archaeologists and historians as it provides insights into the daily life beliefs and practice of ancient civilization the study of rock art can help researchers understand the cultural and social context of the past in all over the world so far there are five lakhs caves and shelters having rock art so far it was unesco's report almost all the continent we have rock art tradition so this map will tell you the major 50 rock art sites in the world in india it in the 29 is bimbetka bimbetka is one of the important rock art site which is announced by unesco monument more than 600 shelters in bimbetka having mural painting tradition that rock art painting tradition so this cave is gudiyam cave which is 72 kilometers from chennai it is one of the oldest cave oldest cave in the sense more than 3 lakhs years before some human being living in the cave they produced many stone axes which is very similar to the stone axes produced in africa and other area there was one theory the modern human came from out of africa from africa they moved to india and they moved to australia there is one was one theory we accept but the recent scientific reports about the gudiyam caves that stone tool was created more than 3 lakhs years ago so 60000 years ago one migration has happened from africa to australia uh, india and uh, australia but even before there were some people they lived in this terrain so the tools are reference for the history see this uh, paleolithic tool 
which found in Palambas cave in South Africa, which is near Cape Town. For the first time, they found red pigments on the stone, which is dated nearly 73,000 years old. It's a first, so far, it's a first tool with painted, it's a design, like a cross catching some design. This is one of the oldest tools with painting. First figurative work so far identified is the Sulawesi cave in Indonesia. This is scientifically proven. The image was created 45,000 years before. This is one of the oldest art in the world at present. Maybe in future we may find some other, but so far it's old. So you could see the or a wild pig, a wild boar. Very naturally, very realistically, it's portrayed. Ne just behind the pig, there's a two palm impression was there. It's the hunter, after they hunt the wild boar, he, he, he wanted to depict his presence. So he put his palm impression near the animal. The impression of the hand, which is one of the big tradition in Rakar. This palm impression found almost all, all the all the caves in the many countries. Even Tamil Nadu, we have few sites having this kind of palm impression, but which dated some 45,000 years old. Uh, this is a very important cave, Alaska, friends, but some people will know. It's 17,000 years old. The, it's called Hall of Bulls. More than 600 depiction was in the cave. So in the ancient time, only animal figure only painted in the cave. No human being, no human images are found in the caves. Only animal, huge animals only painted. The human figure with the animal came very later. So this is one painting from Libya. There are many sites. Just I wanted to show few sites across the global because you will get some idea. So this is very important period, the, the 12,000 years old painting, this is, it was a very important period. For the first time, the hunter-gatherer transformed to pastoral life, hunter-gatherers to pastoral life, their transition. So in the painting, you could see the two way of life. In the foreground, you see some people are looking some bull. So it's a process of domestication of cattle. Just behind the background, some people are in, engaged in hunting activities. So simultaneously, two societies are seen in the painting. So it's a good the evolution from hunter-gatherer society to next level they came. So this is Petroclip from Libya in Africa. See, after they give up the hunter-gatherer life, some group in from the society, they moved to the pastoral life. They preferred the life, they changed their life, they changed the terrain. See, when they were hunter, they have to, every day they have to work, they have to walk at least 10 to 20 kilometers, they have to run for food, or for hunting or thing. But once they come for the pastoral life, so the lifestyle is totally changed. So the, they mostly prefer to live near the foothills area because it's easy for grazing for the cattle also them. So during the past time, they start carving the images on the rock surfaces, not only in the caves, on the rock beds, on the stone, everywhere, all over the world. The pastoral, ancient pastoral society, they leave the earth mostly in the rock surfaces. Here in Tamil Nadu also, we have few petroglyphs like this in the foothills of Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. This is in India, right from Kanyak, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, more than 5,000 caves and shelters have identified with rock art. Almost all the states have a rock art. But in central India, the amount of the rock art is higher than other region, especially the Bimbetka region. So you can see the hunter gatherer in life in the Bimbetka, the first scene, how he is hunting the deers in other side and wild boar and these are these are all from hunter society the oldest art in bimbetka dated 15000 bc 
ஸோ இப்போ நீ கம் டு சவுத் இன் சவுத் இந்தியா த எடக்கல் கேவ் இன் வயநாடு கேரளா இட் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஓல்டஸ்ட்டு பெட்ரோ கிளிப் இன் சவுத் இந்தியா அண்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த பிக்கஸ்ட் பெட்ரோ கிளிப் சைட் இன் இந்தியா விச் வாஸ் டிஸ்கவர்ட் எயிட்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி செவன் பை ஒன் ஆர்ச்சிபால் ஃபாசெட் சாரி ஃபாசெட் in painting there are two styles one the artist used brush with single stroke painting they we call that outline painting just few strokes he communicate what he want to express the second is solid form it means the artist first draw the outline they fill they apply the color inside the body of the animals this is two way all over the world only these two techniques only they followed forever this is mallapadi and this is the first rock art site discovered in tamil nadu 1978 and the, by the time in madras university they conducted some excavation in mallapadi in krishnagiri region the some of the students from the team accidentally he found the cave and the rock art this is the first rock art in this painting the two people riding on horse they fight each other something they depict maybe two chief tens from two clans they fight each other they not, they didn't portray the every everyone only the chief tens only portrayed here it could be some 2000 to 2500 years old this karikyur from nilgiri district it's one of the biggest rock art cave in india about 300 feet long about 200 feet high but the painted area was about 30 30 feet they painted more than 500 themes were depicted either single themes or compositional themes they depicted the most of the paintings are in white and red pigments so in the cave the 5000 500 images not from one generation two generation more than 15 artists from different period of time they depicted so we can trace the history from the from the cave right from early hunter how the early hunter was hunt the animal how later the how the domestication of cattle came how the historical period how they fought each other so you can see at least 5000 years history in one rock surface it was discovered by our group in 2004 we discovered this site by the time this is a very interesting locality uh, it just the river mayar and bhavani confluence is very ideal place for hunter gatherers very thick vegetation always all the animals most of the animals are always around this water body area by the that by the time when I, when we discovered this site it's very difficult because by the time the central mafia virpan was there in the other side of the forest we explored in this part of the very risky time we found the record site but very worthful for writing history see the prehistoric artists the art may give some com- communication art for communication or decoration in general here the artist depict two bison very carefully he did he is very master in skill because it's not easy to draw true animals in opposite side he is very much good knowledge in proportion and anatomical details of the animal so very similar size the he portrayed both side it's a skill of the ancient artist see in the hunter gatherers not only painted only the hunting scene or his adventure scene he also observe the behavioral patterns of the animals in this environment he also watch very closely watch the animal kingdom animal life also so here three animals are depicted one bull one deer and donkey like animal so feeding milk to the baby it's depicted it's a very rare theme but these three paintings done by different artists in different time how the theme was selected how so much he was concerned about the animals so he painted he selected the themes he can do anything but he is very focused to paint the particular theme i have seen several thousands of rock art 
in India and outside in the, through net, the internet and in so multi sources. But I haven't seen this kind of subject painted in rock art. So the people in that time was very different. Their thinking process is different. Their way of looking the world is very different. So through these images, we can understand that mindset and everything. So this is another very important. It's a, a tiger and a deer is, is depicting here. See, now we can see in the National Geography and other channel how the tigers and hunting the deers. So now here the deer maybe maybe ran so very long distance. Finally, it was stuck with the tiger. So the artist he didn't paint the killing pro, killing moment just before killing the moment. He just freeze the top images. He leave it to the audience whether the deer will survive or not. So that kind of the climax he created in the theme. Also very carefully the anatomical detail, the proportion was very excellently he did in the subject. The artist also painted the playful life of the animal world. See in the first panel you could see two cats, mother cat and baby cat, they are playing each other. The other side panel, the monkeys are playing, they, play, they are playing in the tree branches. So it's very interesting. So from bottom to top, they climb. See the tiles are all uprising, it's rising. So very carefully he watched the animal movement and he painted. So in Karkiyur, more than 50 images having the prehistoric hunter society with Bowen Naro. So here you could see the early hunters, before they found Bowen Naro, they used some sticks only for hunting at a very early stage. So you could see all the hunters in the frame, they are holding some very only tool, very, some wooden tool, something like that. After they come to, they found new weapon, Bowen Naro. So here you could see all the hunters are using bow and arrow. You can see also for the first time they are using dog. The domestication of dog is very important for the hunter society. It was roughly was domesticated around 20,000 years before. After it, the dog was very helpful for the hunter society. So you could see in many of the paintings the dogs always associate with the hunters. So this is a very important painting in Garkiyur. Some seven hunters are there. See, three hunters are having holding bow and arrow, and some three of them holding some different tool. Because it's a kind of hunting strategy. For hunting, for every animal, they use a different strategy. For deer, for rabbit, or some other small for monitor lizard. The small teeth they go and hunt. But when they go for hunt, the wild boar and other big animal, they need some plan, they need to prepare with proper equipment. See here, three hunters are holding bow and arrow. You see the first one from the left. His, his, his arrow is in the bow, he's ready to hit to the animal. The second bowman is holding the arrow in like this. The third one is waiting because they don't want to waste the arrow because the arrow is not only the wooden thing. They tied some small pointed stone or metal in the arrow like a bullet they used. So they don't want to waste every arrow. So you could see the animatic movement, the first man, second man, then next, next. If suppose someone missed, the other one will take the ch chance. So here in one forest, different animal hunted, elephant, bison, and bull. So different artists from different time, they painted the hunting scene. They used different techniques, you could see. Uh, the, the, after hunting the boar, some seven people are hanging and they praying and dancing. Because in tribal tradition, there's a practice. The boar hunting is very difficult 
job for the hunters. After they hunt the wild boar, they have some kind of songs, the performance because of the victory. So the foreground, you could see the wild boar. In the background, these hunters are doing some performance after the successful hunt. The other side, the, some deer hunting scenes are there. See, these are all hunting activities here. One hunter, he sleep next with his dog. Because in the forest, if some people they go alone for the forest for gather some product from the, not always can they go. Sometimes all the times some dogs always along with the hunters. So here one rare subject, both are sleeping somewhere. So the artists also depict the dog and hunter the sleeping thing. The other way, the tiger next scene is the tiger hunting scene. Very few strokes with white pigment he depict the subject. So far we have seen the hunter-gatherer life. After the pastoral life, the domestication of cattle process was evolved. See the first the first painting, one bull was there, one cow, bull is there, some people surrounded the bull. The top on the right, he also tried to domesticate the bull. See all the four panels you could see. In the early stage of domestication is like this. See the left one, you could see three human, three three people, they tried to domesticate the catch the bison see this scene is very similar to the jellicot to something like that how they try to name the animal which is very similar after that see some five bison are there going one side so the two people the holding stick they don't they didn't use any weapon like a bow and arrow or any weapon just holding a stick means he started domestication. So both scenes are depicted in the cave. See, the miniature painting tradition is also very important. Even now, some paint, contemporary painters, they practiced with miniature strain. Even in the cave, the, some artists, they are very good in performance, but they draw these animals in two inches three inches, very small, small thing. They have enough space, enough colors, but some artists, they wanted to do it very small, small thing. So you could see life-size images as well as miniature images, both in the cave. This is very interesting panel. It's a fight between two clans. See, one group, they came with horse. The other group are foot soldiers, something like that. Maybe. Foot soldiers may be the, the place where the local people, the horse people may be outsiders. Some reasons they enter into the region, they fought each other. Finally, the, all the horse, horses you see, all are going one side. Means they defeated the horse team, the outsiders. The local people defeated the outsiders. You could see. So such a war scene also depicted in the cave. So these are all different. After Iron Age, people used weapons like iron weapon. In, in Nilgiri, four types of people lived. In the hilltop, the Todas live. They do only pastoral life in the, in the hilltop. The next level, the Kota tribes. The Kota tribes are very good in crafts, producing craft product, like a metal craft, Potteries and other craft, textile craft also they produce. So now the Iron Age in Tamil Nadu goes back to 4,000 years old. So the Kothar tribes could be started to produce their iron weapon at least 3,000 years before. So we have reference of the iron weapon in the painting. See, after hunting and other activities, whenever they have free time, they also enjoy with music, dance. So you could see the music and dance practices in the cave. See, 
in most of the rock art animals are given more they given more importance to animals very few birds and uh, reptiles seen in rock art all over the world here also you could see one bird in the big panel and few birds see it's like a horn bill like a, in tamil they call iruvachi so they select very sel very selected birds for the painting not every bird so sometimes they produced some signs and unidentified images we don't know what it is why for it. but some unidentified images also found in the composition so this is some anthropomorphic figure of human of animal images also because they started the creativity process earlier they paint mostly what they have seen but at the same time some artists they try to do something different so here the one artist he tried the of animal and of human like that composition it's very interesting the other side the panel you could see in the right side corner one mongoose and the snake the fight the fighting scene it is very popular subject even now when you go to mahabalipuram when you go to some other tourist place these people the they playing with the mongoose and snake the same thing the hunter gatherer also they watched the event far, far away from the incident so so far we, we have seen the paintings from the karikir one of the biggest rock art cave in tamil nadu now we are going to see the velleri gombai velleri gombai is different area other side of the karikur in karikur mostly irula tribal people live but velleri gombai the other people call kurumba tribe they lives in the area so the paintings of karikur the irulas are totally different from the paintings of the kurumba the kurumba has very different practices they are very good in hunting and other practices there they other tribes believe that they are some they are good in black magic so this painting was done the place called eluthu parai which is some 7 kilometers from the road side you have to walk 7 kilometers to reach the shelter so every year the even now the priest from the village he used to go every year once and he paint some images on the rocks so the rocks thousands of images are there most of them damaged even though few images are there the oldest paintings in the shelter could be dated around 3000 to 4000 years old the mesolithic period there is also some figurative animals also painted in the cave one side religious connected painting the other side realistic painting both painted in red and white in the cave so this is petroglyph set in nilgiris the place called erpetu so more than 35 depiction animal figure human figure some reptiles some unidentified animals are painted a cow in the erpetu caves it's a, this shelter is small shelter but it, it could accommodate more than 20 people in the shelter small shelter but this dated around 2000 to 3000 years old see one of the depiction in the airport cave like a snake like wavy lines at the top, at the end there is a half moon like shape so i draw it and then the down so the there is some belief the snake swallowing the moon is a one popular story among local people in local myth in sangam literature one of the literature says aravu ser madi there's a reference in sangam literature also the tradition also followed in later period even in temples many later period temples you could see the painting in painting also sculpture the snake and the lunar eclipse and solar eclipse scene so this tradition could be evolved from prehistorical time so we could understand from this carving so this site is in uh, so selakurai which is very remote area remote forest it could be you could be walk around 8 km one way to reach the place it lies just opposite to the maya river 
இட்ஸ் அ பார்டர் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு கேரளா த ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஸோ மோர் தென் தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் இமேஜஸ் ஆர் பெயிண்டட் இன் ரெட் அண்ட் ஒயிட் பிக்மெண்ட்ஸ் சி இட்ஸ் ஏ வேலி ஏரியா இட்ஸ் வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு ஆக்சஸ் அண்ட் த ரைட் சைட் யூ குட் சி ஏ டியர் இட்ஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் லைஃப் சைஸ் நியர்லி ஃபைவ் மோர் தென் ஃபைவ் ஃபீட் த டியர் வெரி ரியலிஸ்டிக் போர்ட்ரேட் ஆல் ஓவர் த வேர்ல்ட் டீர்ஸ் ஆர் ஃப்ரீக்வெண்ட்லி பெயிண்டட் இன் எவ்ரி ஷெல்டர் பிகாஸ் டீர் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் டார்கெட் பை ஹியூமன் பீயிங் ஆல்சோ அதர் அனிமல் ஸோ த டீர் இஸ் எ வெரி பாப்புலர் சப்ஜெக்ட் இன் ராக்கார்ட் சொசைட்டி ரைட் ஃப்ரம் வெரி ஏன்ஷியன் டைம் டு ஈவன் நவ் ஸோ ஹியர் வெரி அனாட்டமிக்லி வெரி டீட்டெயிலி ஹி பெயிண்டட் மோஸ்ட்லி வென் ராக்கார்ட் you could not see the eye the depiction of eye in the animals but here in this painting the you could see the eye first time i noticed eye in the deer image also some playful images see the middle one middle panel so he is very good in understanding the anatomy of birds and animals see the peacock very with, with very few lines he conveyed the character with with sharp edges and sharp details this another place called kurbavarai which is some 7 kilometers from the metu from the solur mattam near kothagiri you have to walk 7 kilometers so there are two layers here full of painting but most of the paintings are damaged due to natural vandalism so you could see the some fighting between two groups and some hunting scenes are painted in the caves which is not published so far in any books and anything this is velarkam pali we, we normally we see rock art always in cave but most of the rock art in tamil nadu are painted in the shelters only very few caves in tamil nadu having painting the velarkam pali is one of the cave painting you have to go at least 6 kilometers from thondamuttur in deep forest so you can reach the cave very few paintings only six, some six paintings are only there so that means the cave was existed several thousand years several thousand settlement people were lived there but one some period some artist he registered some images not all the time all the people are painted in the cave so the artists are very unique not in every hunter society artists are born and they paint very occasionally they come and do so some caves you could see lot of repetition overlapping but some caves very big space but very very few amount of art only existed that means artists are very rare in those society that's why the rock art is very important so the gumbudipadi is another cave which is very close to coimbatore is very close to the foothills also easily accessible cave so where some the chariot and the trees and elephant hunting scenes are painted it's very low level so it was highly vandalized by local people so this is another viralur it's again the from thondamuttur to you have to walk some 8 kilometers in the border of kerala and tamil nadu it's a huge site but they have very few very few images in the very few so you can see the bottom the two hunter the artist with very few with very few strokes he conveyed the character he, the man holding sword and shield very few strokes so he has such a confident to create the image very confident but he didn't paint everywhere very specifically one theme only he painted the huge rock canvas it is considered as a holy even now they call some local muni temple or some temple See, see in before the sculpture for worship purpose painting was used as a cult images so earlier painting the later period you could see the same subject transformed into sculpture bas relief only like a bas relief like a profile the after recent times it can as it round sculpture the same subject from rock painting then relief sculpture then round sculptures see you could see the evolve same thing how evolve from period of time this is mahavadipu from 
this is also remote forest. You have to walk some six, seven kilometers from the earlier dam. So huge shelter. So now a lot of vandalism by the local people. There are few old paintings also existed in the cave. One tiger, one deer, and right side there is one hunter. So like a few images also here we can see. See, now uh, this is a petroglyph farm. In Tamil Nadu, we have identified some five petroglyph sites so far. Uh, the rest of the record sites are all painted. This petroglyph from Perumukkal, it lies between uh, Marakanam to Dindivanam region on the hill. So it's a tiny cave, but more than 50 carvings are found in the tiny caves. Very interesting, the human figure, the snake, the fish, like a lot of symbols and unidentified images are carved in the tiny cave. This is Raghunatha from Ulundurpet in Vilupuram district. In Tamil Nadu, most of the caves painted with red and white pigments. For the first time, we noticed the yellow pigment in the Ulundurpet, the, the particularly the Raghunath Puram. Moreover, the, the well, some artists, they paint only the outline of the animals. Some artists, they do outline after they fill colors with their body. In some places, some artists, they wanted to show the intestine of the animals. So here you could see some intestine. This we call in X-ray painting. The X-ray painting showing the intestine of that animal, which is also popular tradition all over the world. You could see the X-ray painting. Here also we have some few references. This is also the Nilan. It's, it's a kind of deer. It's also the painting is also found in the Ulundur Pet region. See, the Nilan is a very rare or a, a rare species, uh, which is not exist in that area. But once it was existed in that area, so sometimes the rock art helps the ex extinct animals. Are, the details of the extinct animals here also like that. The Shatavari, Shatavari is one of the very important painting. They have the paintings from Paleolithic, Upper Paleolithic, and uh, Neolithic also found in the paint. The mostly the paintings either done with white pigments or red pigments. For the first time, the artist from Shatavari he used both polychrome color. So in the beginning, he painted the images with white color. Then finally, he put outline with red pigment. So new technique gradually evolved in this region. So it's very interesting painting in Shatavarai. Just the Shatavarai, just opposite the another hill, recently some local team, they found some carving images. So full of bulls, with humped bulls and human figures in the cave. It's a, tiny, it's a big cave. More than 50 images, carving images are recently found, which dated Neolithic, at least some 8,000 years old images. Near the Shatavari, the other side is called Alambadi. Alambadi is also very interesting figure. In Shatavari and Alambadi, you couldn't find any human figure. Only in ancient Old paintings, mostly the animal figure and the geometrical designs are only there. Only later period human figures came. So here in Alambadi also, many designs and uh, realistic animals are portrayed in outline colors. So Kilwala is very close to Alambadi. It comes at an historical period. So you could see a lot of human figures, human activities in the Kilwala. This Kilwale, Shatavari, Vilupurab, all are very close by, like a triangle thing. See the right panel, so two people, two human figures came from one side, the other one is kind of welcoming the other two. It's very interesting panel and some people riding on horses and various activities are painted in the cave. Originally in Kilwale, three shelters having painting, but two of them were totally damaged. This only one survived. So far. This is Kedari Petty near Alagar Malay in Madurai. Actually, it's a huge cave. Now, this cave was famous for Jain beds and Brahmi script, 2300 years old Brahmi script. 
It was used by Jain monks or other monks in 2000 years ago. Even before the Jain monks arrived to the cave, the prehistoric man was lived there. He left his painting in this. See, the, the one painting is holding some tool. Maybe it could be used for fishing tool, something he used. He, and the other man is there. The Anipati is another painting, which is in between the Dindukal and Madurai, in one path. So it's a huge cave. More than 70 images are painted in different period of time. Mostly uh, hunters, mostly uh, fighting between two ethnic groups, so some symbols. The bottom right and the down, there's an image, one bull, one humped bull with one person, like like a jellicoto like images we found because this site is very close to the Alagana lore. So, so we have we are connected because from the time of domestication, that process only in became later it played as a jellicoto we thought. This is from Paliya settlement in Kurinjinagar near Madurai. See the two layers, two set two layers. The paintings found in two layers. See, most of the painting, the shelters are like a watching shelter, watch shelter. So when you go there and we can see wide area from there. Such a places only they paint. They don't paint everywhere, wherever they found the surface. Very important selected places only they painted. This is a two layers shelter, very ideal shelter. So here very interesting painting, either in both in white and black. See, very realistically, he painted or deer, deer and his baby, they painted very, very proportionately, they painted. On the top is seen the elephant hunting scene. Uh, the Paliya, the tribes are there, very good in hunting elephant, even now. The forest, the Varsanad forest, even people are hunting animal, animals, elephant especially. So in those times, they don't hunting, they don't kill Elephants, they damn the uh, elephant and they supply it to the Pandya kings. There is some references we have. So, some kind of references we could be able to understand from the paintings. This is also another important site from Madurai. So, the same shelter, we have some later period carving, also some hunter gatherer society. This is from Sivahankai district. The, these are all hunter gatherers and different activities. See, these peop uh, prehistoric people also, they are good in jam knowledge of jam and tree. Here, the Tiruvadur is famous for Tamil Brahmi site, where more than seven circles with like similar circles are there. Very perfectly, they drawn the circles. So, this is from uh, Kila Balabu from Madurai, near Madurai. The right side, the the modern painters they also depicted the modern uh, vehicle also along with the ancient ancient one. This is very bullock cart from Palani Hills, which is very rare. It, it, this painting and the in route of the ancient trade route. So the artist from the hill top he watched the bullock cart. So he he draw the bullock cart from top angle aerial view, not profile or frontal. In the top angle they painted. This is from Sirumalai in Dindigal. There are two caves in uh, Sirumalai. This is one of the caves, mostly the hunter-gatherer life. Uh, not only the caves and shelters they painted, uh, sometimes the megalithic dolmens is also having some painting, mostly in Krishnagiri region and the uh, Koyamthu region. We could see these kind of uh, paintings within the dolmen. It's Maharaja Kali in Krishnagiri. And in Krishnagiri, more than 50 places having this kind of images from all period, even now they painted. This is very interesting period of the funeral process. In the chief ten was shown in the figure. This is an interesting uh, ritual. Uh, see the group of people going with the goat for some sacrifice, some ritual purpose. It's very interesting. All the elders and youngsters and with the animal, some very good in proportion, they, it shows some ritual activities of those period. This is also an interesting panel in near Udumalai Pete, all the hunter gather society and their activities. This is the elephant hunting scene in Madhagadi Pudur. 
in the left side panel you could see the elephant hunting scene is there so this is from krishnagiri so has the fight between the two groups and some decorative animals in krishnagiri this is also from mailadumbare from krishnagiri near the water body they painted this animal this is from krishnagiri some hunter gathers life this antimala hill full of painting so mostly modern painting recent time paintings along with old one these are this kind of many paintings are in krishnagiri region i just skip because of time this is a ritual painting from krishnagiri not figurative it's a ritualistic painting the in prehistoric painting very rarely we see, you can see the erotic themes so very few places we have so different types of elephant hunting practice in different places here i this is a hunting scene from different hunting from different region this is a, uh, how the horse was depicted in each region different period so this is another and human sacrifice also found in two caves one in vellarigombe one in karkiyur then the dance music tradition from different shelters and overlapping and vandalism overlapping vandalism is not a new one even in the prehistorical time it happened the, the temple carp in different region the palm impression I, i told you know in all over the world many rock shelters having this palm impression so these two from uh, tamil nadu then a lot of symbols used in rock art so some symbols are very common in all the continent so we have also some symbols so so far we have seen that uh, rock art so after the historical painting is very systematic organized painting so right from pallava time we have many painting this is so the right one from sitana was the right both from sitana was 9th century this is 16th century from thirunna thirunelveli thirupadai bodu the historical painting the horse trading event was portrayed arab horse trading a very realistic theme then this is a wedding of meenakshi in meenakshi temple 17th century then this very important painting in the palace in ramnath palace the king sedupadi the marawa king sedupadi was sitting in the haram uh, some europeans maybe dutch people they came and uh, they negotiate for some reason nowadays some modern painters also inspired from the traditional painting they copied and inspired from their own style the vir santanam g raman like trotsky marud also he impressed with the traditional art form and, and in now many tribes they lost the painting tradition only kurumba tribes from nilgiri only still practice their own art form so you could see the kurumba art even now they practicing see how the vandalism so tamil nadu government put big effort uh, the archaeology commissioner udesh uh, chandran uh, sir is giving big effort to document all the record site so government plan to document 100 site so we have documented so far 70 sites properly we documented we are waiting to document another 30 site very soon we are going to bring a book with the government support so this is the, the documentation of the work so the record tradition also even practiced by local people they paint wherever they go in the rocks in the trees and all so the tradition last 10 years it's, it's a kind of ongoing tradition is i think it's enough thank you, thank you. thank you for some more time but uh, time is a constraint always so maybe i'll start with one question and then throw it open to uh, the audience so i'm sure uh, you know if you had only seen the pictures you would not have known the you kind know, of effort it takes to reach the places and document so that's why we played the documentary first to know how tedious it is for your question um nam naatar daivangal kula daivangal inda valibaadu aarambikkiradhukku the small deities is there any old painting which is there in any of this rock art form they use the mic but not uh, not all the rock art sites are considered as holy place 
but even though some places like vellarikombai odiyathur some very few places are considered as a holy place still people go and worship the places where you can't see the figurative world some symbolic worship not like as a human form or animal form they created some design some pattern they for they worship the pattern as they go kula devam mari and there are some family god or some uh, some clan god something like that but not like any figurative form as we worship today okay and you have not come across uh, the reason i am asking is uh, why i am asking is the garlands uh, like i think you know have you seen any human god's evolution there in sunny of this no so far i haven't seen i have seen more than 200 caves in south india but i have been seen any image of gods any 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 god no god in, in the rocker time maybe all the god, the images of god came later but in those time we couldn't see any form of god anywhere else okay thank you that was yep இப்போ தமிழ்நாட்டில் நமக்கு ஒரு நூ நூற்றம்பது இடங்களுக்கு மேலே நம்ம கண்டுபிடிச்சிருக்கோம் பார்த்துருக்கோம் இது வரைக்கும் அதை முறைப்பிரகாரம் நம்ம வந்து சயின்டிஃபிக்காக டேட் பண்ணலை இந்தியாவில் ஒரே இப்போ டேட்டிங் பண்ணது பிம்பெட் காலம் மட்டும்தான் அது கொஞ்சம் எக்ஸ்பென்சிவ் ப்ராசஸ்ஸு மேற்கொண்டு இப்போ வந்து சி ஃபோர்டீன் இதெல்லாம் பண்ண முடியாது ஏன்னா இதெல்லாமே ஆர்கானிக் மெட்டீரியல் தான் எல்லாமே இது இன்ஆர்கானிக் மெட்டீரியல் இது ஆர்கானிக் கிடையாது ஆர்கானிக்ன்றது பைண்டிங் மீடியம் தான் அந்த பைண்டிங் மீடியத்தை வச்சு தான் பண்ண முடியும் இது எக்ஸ்பென்சிவ் ப்ராசஸ் அது இப்போ கவர்மெண்ட்டில் பிளான் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க இப்போ இந்த டாக்குமெண்டேஷன் முடிஞ்சோன்னே நம்ம பண்ணலான் இருக்கோம் ஆனால் இப்போ அந்த சுலவேசின்னு சொல்லக்கூடிய இடத்துல நம்ம பார்த்த அந்த ஒரு வைல்டு போரி வித் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் சொல்கிறாங்களே இந்த சிமிலர் ஃபார்ம் சிமிலர் பிக்மெண்ட் சிமிலர் திங் வி ஹவ் இன் செத்தவரை இன் விழுப்புரம் இன் ஃபியூ கேவ்ஸ் வி ஹவ் த சிமிலர் ஃபார்ம் சிமிலர் ஸ்டைல் அது வந்து நம்ம ஒன்ஸ் வி கோ ஃபார் டேட்டிங் ஒன்லி வி கேன் ஏபிள் டு கிவ் த ப்ராப்பர் டேட் reach the mic please sir you can introduce yourself so that uh, yeah. uh, i have to say thanks to dr ts subramanian thanks avar uh, vande right from my 2007 lende enoda ella discovery um through hindu moolama avar da vande popularize pannare innikku thank you thanks avar sonna thank you idanaliye idanaliye ipo kadantha or 10 aandugalla enna maadhiri vande neriya youngsters vande kaattukulla poi they found more than 50 records because of him because his serious writing thank you thank you, thank you so much sir mikka nandri ungalku mikka nandri mr ganj illa irandu kelvigal inda keelavalavu paare poivite eppadi kandupidithirgal ena andha tamil brahmin side pakkathula neenga sonna pram or 3 maasam maadi na poi adu paathen dinamum or 50 60 per anga andha jaina bas leaf sculptures appra tamil brahmin side ku pogirargal ஆனால் நூறு மீட்டர் தள்ளி தான் இருக்குது அதை எல்லோரும் எப்படி காண தவறிவிட்டார்கள் நீங்கள் எப்படி கண்டுபிடிச்சீர்கள் அது ஒரு கேள்வி அப்புறம் இன்னொன்று உங்களுடைய என்னை தவறாக நினைக்காதீர்கள் அந்த குதிரை ஓவியங்கள் என்று கூறினீர்கள் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி ஐநூறு சிரியா எனக்கு காது கேட்கல அது ரெண்டாயிரத்தி ஐநூறு வருஷத்துக்கு முற்பட்டவது என்று கூறினீர்களா அப்படி என்றால் ஏன்னா டாக்டர் ராஜன் ஒரு முறைமை என்கிட்ட சொன்னார் பாரி ஓவியத்தில் குதிரைகள் வரையப்பட்டிருந்தால் அவை ஹிஸ்டாரிக் பீரியட் என்று கூறினார் அதை பற்றி சொல்ல இந்த ரெண்டு சொல்லும் எப்படி கீழே உலக கண்டிப்பாக எல்லாரும் அதை காண தவறி விட்டு போது அந்த திருமலை ஓவியங்களும் சிவகங்கா திருமலை ஓவியங்களையும் கீழவள ஓவியம் எப்படி நீங்கள் கண்டுபிடிச்சீர்கள் இப்போ டு பி எ ஸ்பைடர் சார் இல்லை கீழே உலவு வந்து நாங்கள் வந்து ஒரு டாக்குமெண்டேஷனுக்காக நாங்கள் தமிழ் பிராமி டாக்குமெண்டேஷனுக்காக நாங்கள் ஐரோவதம் பாத ஒரு டீமோட போனோம் நான் அதே மலையில் வேறு எங்கேயாவது பிராமி கிடைக்குமோ நான் தேடி போனேன் நான் ராக்காட்டை தேடி போகிறேன் நாங்கள் பிராமி இருக்குது பக்கத்தில் வேறு எங்கேயாவது ஒரு பிராமி ஸ்கிரிப்ட் கிடைக்குமான்னு தேடி போகிறப்ப தான் அந்த பெயிண்டிங் ஆக்சிடெண்டாக கண்டுபிடிச்சிது இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷனை தேடி போய் பெயிண்டிங் கிடச்சிது அது கிடச்சிது அப்படி தான் அது ஆக்சிடென்டல் டிஸ்கவரி தான் அது அது கிடச்சிது இந்த குதிரை கீரிங் கேட்டீங்க இப்போ வந்து இதே ராஜன் சார்கிட்ட கேட்டப்போ வந்து பொருந்தல் எக்ஸ்கவேஷனில் கிடச்ச சில போன் சாம்பிள் வந்து கிட்டத்தட்ட ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் பிசி கிட்ட போகுதுன்றாங்க பொருந்தலில் கிடச்ச இது சொல்கிறாங்க அதன் அடிப்படையில் இது வந்து அந்த பீடாக இருக்கலாம் அப்படின்ற மாதிரி நம்ம சொல்லியிருக்கோம் ஒழிய அது உறுதி இல்லை ஆனால் பொருந்தலில் கிடச்சிருக்கு அது ஃபோர் தௌசண்ட் இது ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் எயிட் ஹண்ட்ரட் பிசி சம்திங் அவர் சொல்லியிருக்கு ரிப்போர்ட் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க ஸோ அதன் அடிப்படையில் நான் சொல்கிறேன் த போன்ஸ் விச் இஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் அனதர் சைட் இஸ் அபவுட் இட்ஸ் கால் பொருந்தல் விச் இஸ் நியர் பழனி தே ஃபவுண்ட் சம் ஹார்ஸ் போன் விச் இஸ் டேட்டட் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் இயர்ஸ் ஓல்ட் ஸோ தட்ஸ் வாட் வி ஆர் கிவன் டேட் ஃபார் த ஹார்ஸ் பெயிண்டிங் எஸ் first of all thanks for coming and explaining this i was not even aware that we had so much of settlement around this place ne solradala krishnagiri neelgrace gudiyam 
I mean, I was not even aware like 20, 40,000 years kind of thing. And one thing that is surprising for me is the, in the spread, somewhere in my mind, I thought it'll be along the river settlement, somewhere along that. And you sold to the, it's almost covering all the places. The one question that I have is, in your experience, whatever you have seen across the world and India, because there is no communication, nothing, right? Is there any difference? Any, um, uh, like the migration that you talked about, Africa, I think, but any timeline or difference on passing of the knowledge, like the stone tools or iron age or something else, is there any timeline that you can see on the migration pattern or any major differences in these rock cuts? Thanks. Okay. Not only in rock cut, even the stone production, stone tool production, even the Africa Paleolithic tool, tool is very similar to stone, Paleolithic stone tools from Tamil Nadu. We call it Madras hand axe, which is very similar to Africa Paleolithic stone tool. Only the material, uh, material only change, different material, different stone. The shape making is very similar. Like in art, all over the world, we have very common features, common types. So we can't say always, they collected the, the knowledge came from the other side. Simultaneously, parallel parallel development, parallel evolve, something will happen. Because not so not possible always the knowledge comes from the, because these places what you see in the caves are very interior places, not easily accessible. So it's very difficult to say they learn from some other. Parallelly, the similar thoughts they have, they practice it could be. It has to do some research in future. Thank you. Please introduce your name, sir, please. In the Padangal Pakambad, Google search of Pakambad, Sindhu Samavali Naharim, Abdi Portana, Undur and in the Padangal Varade. Iduko Adako, Yena difference there. And the period Sindhu Samavali Nagari Gatako, Murpata. Ama Ipa, the Sindhu Samavali Nagari Tuko, Munada Ula de Rigo, Ade Kalakatamurke, the Kapinadi Ula de Rigo. Pedula and the Kuri de Galam Patina, Silla Kuri de Galmunde, the symbols one day they are very similar to the one in the Indus Valley, also in Ragal. We have very common symbols at there. So you can't see a direct connection between Indus Valley and this rock art. Some influence was, could be there. I am Mangat Raman, uh, Pandijer Fine Arts Kalil in Andhra. Or Edathla Bohara Solomba, the stone tool Sonninga. Metal sonnenga. And the metal is the same thing. The drawing is the same thing. That is the evidence. The Sar Balasar is the same Mother God is the same thing. The tool is But in some archaeological excavation, we found arrow tip with stone arrow tip. Also, we found some iron arrow tip. Not in the same site. In some different excavation, we found the arrow tip. Arrow tip is very important. So it found both in metal also in stone. So that's why I compare. Because why at the time they don't use the three? It is very important. So it's very valuable. It's very materialistic. So they practice. They could practice it's either stone or metal using for hunting. Only an assumption, no, sir. Like yeah. you, your hypothesis you, only. You use the arrow. Like I think then and, it's gone. So and your second question. You know, the, in rock art, it's very difficult to identify the female form. The more, both male and female, they always portrayed in the same character. Very few places only, you could see that only the marking of justice painted in very few places only. In some places, in the anatomical detail, we could see the bra for when they depict the man, he has a broad shoulder, narrow hip, something like that. The female say narrow shoulder with wide he, some kind of difference. Thing. It's very difficult to identify female figures in rock art all over the world. He, mostly, uh, all cave painting artists, they are very good in anatomical study of animals, but never any artist from all over the world, they never draw human figure perfectly. Only very strict, line, very strict figures only they do. They never do any anatomical detailed study. We'll take last couple of questions, sir, please. Thank you. Um, my name is Ravi Vishwanathan. I'm a retired guy. I teach at MSC occasionally. Okay. So, but I'm very interested in history. Thank you, sir. Question. Two, I have two questions. One is, all the sites you mentioned, for a person, lay person, if they were to go there, how does one, 
is are there guides there who will interpret that and so it will make it so much more interesting than just going there and taking a selfie, shall I say. And then the second question I had was, uh, you showed uh, depictions of domestication of uh, cattle, dogs and horses. Horses I was fascinated by because I did, uh, the instant curiosity was, when did this happen in this geography? Because horses for me are more Central Asian type of thing. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. See, uh, not all the record sites are easily accessible. Even some of the sites are very deep. We have to go 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, you have to walk in accessible area. That's new. But some of the rock sites are in accessible area. Some of the record sites are easily accessible area. Nowadays, many group, cultural heritage groups are there in every region. So these people taking the people to these sites. So they know where to take you there. So now some groups are there all over Tamil Nadu. You got to be really physically fit, sir. So yeah. I think that's the only thing. You know, contact yeah. us, I think you can... Uh, Caught, I think you know, we run something called Friends of Heritage Sites. Prabhagar is there, a few members are there, Sujata is there. So you can and just check with them. So The, the domestication of horse has not happened in, uh, in our, this geography. Only uh, cows and by other bulls are only domesticated here. Horses are not domesticated in, in the geography. We don't have any images of domestication of uh, horses. horses. They come from Arabia and some other region only, not here only. One more last question, sir. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe th this too. Yeah. Hmm. One Hi, sir. Welcome. Good evening. I am Ganesh. I am working in private sector. Sir, my question is how these painting periods are calculating, sir? Hmm. Okay, good question. See, I told you, you know, so far we have done, you have not done any scientific research. Sir, there are plenty of techniques are available now, but it's very expensive. See, First, you have to see the theme. What's the theme painted? The hunter-gatherer society, they always they live with animals, different animals. Okay. Then, what are the weapons they have? Whether iron or some other weapon. With the image, we identify. The other one, the associate artifacts in the region. So, we have megalithic remains, neolithic remains. Mesolithic remains. So we have we found many micro tools in the shelter. So we could calculate that, that thing, the shape making and the material culture in the images. Also the environmental the artifacts available from the environment. We and also we compare with some of the site like in Karnataka. Some of the sites are dated sites are there. We will compare with the dated sites. So we'll it's a, maybe. Approximation. Approximately. In, in future, maybe you will give it. Uh, hi, I'm Thakur Bakshani. Okay. I have a suggestion. Uh, I went to, uh, we went to Azerbaijan sometime earlier this year, mm -hmm. where they have some of these, uh, they yes, sir. take a long drive to reach the location. Once you reach the location, there's a small building where they highlight all the uh, art there in the surroundings. So one can see digitally displayed in that unit. And then there's walkways. If you want to explore, you can explore. Otherwise, you can go back to the bus or car and go back. So this suggestion where in places like this, if uh, yes, sir. we can develop it, it will be a good idea. Yeah, in Kerala, they followed this thing. Like in, in Mariur, in the Mariur Muna region, there are plenty of rocket sites and megalithic dormant sites are there. So they collaborate with the local people with the forest department. So when you go there, you can pay some money. So uh, the forest department take half money, and then half money goes to the, the tribal youths. So they take you to there, and that's a yeah. business. The going. suggestion is they have an air-conditioned hall because our climate is very hot, see, where the people the can problem, see what the, is available in this site, and whoever wants to explore can go. The, the, rest can the, go the issue in Tamil Nadu, sir, you've got so much to see. Okay. Yeah. There are so many places to see and much bigger places to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So it's Plan very good. difficult for them to go unless you have a no. craving for this. One last question, I think, which I think I promised him. Yes, sir. Yeah, Gandhi, you are welcome. Welcome, yeah. I'm going to send you to the center. I'm going to send you to the center. 
ஒரே ஒரு கேள்வி தான் இப்போ நீங்கள் கண்டறிந்த இந்த பாறை ஓவியங்கள் பெட்ரோ பெட்ரோ கிளிப்ஸ் இருக்கீங்க பிக்டோகிராஃப் இருக்குது அதை கண்டறிந்ததுக்கும் இப்போ நீங்கள் அங்கே இருக்கிற இப்போ வாழ்ந்து கொண்டு இருக்கிற மக்கள் கூட நீங்கள் உரையாடியிருப்பீங்க இந்த மக்களுக்கும் அங்கே இந்த படங்களுக்கும் எதாவது தொடர்படுத்தி ஏதாவது தொடர்படுத்த முடிகிறதா ஏதாவது நீங்கள் கண்டறிஞ்சிருக்கீங்களா இருக்கிறது இப்போ இப்போ அதோடய எச்சங்களாக தான் இந்த மக்கள் இனக்குழுக்கள் இப்போ இருக்கிற இனக்குழுக்களுக்கும் அதுக்கு தொடர்பு இருக்கா எதாவது பண்ண முடியுதா மிக நல்ல கேள்வி ஐயா வெள்ளரி கோம்பில் சொல்கிற ஒரு இடத்துல வந்து மா அந்த மேட்டுப்பாளையத்துலேருந்து ஊட்டிக்கு போகிற வழி அந்த கோத்தகிரி வழியாக போகிற இடத்துல வெள்ளரி கோம்பில் இருக்குது அந்த மக்கள் தான் இன்றைக்கும் ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணிகிட்ருக்காங்க ஆற்று அதே ஆற்றை ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க அவங்க வீடுகளில் வந்து ஒரு ஐம்பது ஆண்டுகளுக்கு முன்னாடி எல்லாருமே படம் வரைஞ்சிருக்காங்க வீடுகளில் வரைஞ்சிருக்காங்க வீட்டு சுவரத்தில் அப்போ மண் சுவராக இருந்துச்சு அப்போ எல்லாருமே வரைஞ்சிருக்காங்க அவங்க முன்னோர்கள் அவங்க பிரீஸ்ட்டு தான் போய் வருஷத்துக்கு ஒரு முறை அந்த பாறையில் போய் அவங்க வரைஞ்சிட்டு வராங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லி அந்த ஒரே ஒரு ட்ரைப்ட மட்டும் நமக்கு அந்த கனெக்ஷன் இருக்குது அப்புறம் வந்து மலையாளி ட்ரைப்ஸ் மலையாளி ட்ரைப்ஸ் வந்து இந்த ச நம்ம சேலம் கல்வராயன் மலை சேர்வராயன் மலையெல்லாம் அங்கே அவங்க இருக்காங்க அந்த மலையாளி ட்ரைப்ஸ்ட்ட வந்து இந்த ஒரு பெயிண்டிங் டெலிசி இன்றைக்கு வரைக்கும் இருக்குது அவங்க என்ன பண்ணுறாங்கன்னா அவங்க ஒரு கல்யாண வீட்டில் நடக்குது அப்படின்னா அந்த வீட்டில் வந்து வீட்டை சுற்றி அந்த பார்டர் டிசைன் எல்லாமே நேச்சுரல் கலரில் பெயிண்ட் பண்ணிவிட்டு அந்த மணமகன் வீட்டில் தான் கல்யாணம் நடக்கும் அப்போ அந்த மண அந்த வீட்டு வாசலில் வந்து மணமகனுடைய அந்த கால் ஃபுட் பிரிண்ட்டை மட்டும் பெயிண்ட் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்க அந்த கல்யாணம் முடிஞ்சுட்டு திருப்பி அவங்க பொண்ணை கூட்டு வரப்ப வந்து பொண்ணு வீட்டுக்குள்ளே போகிறப்ப ரெண்டாவது கால் வரைவாங்க ஆஃப்டர் மேரேஜ் ரெண்டாவது கால் பண்ணுவாங்க அப்போ அந்த வழி போகிறவங்களுக்கு தெரியும் இந்த வீட்டில் ஒரு கல்யாணம் நடந்திருக்கு இது இந்த கல்யாணம் ஒரு மாதம் முன்னே நடந்திருக்கு ஒரு வருஷம் முன்னே நடந்திருக்கு அப்படின்னு ஒரு புரிதல் வரும் அப்படி ஒரு சில ட்ரைப்ஸ்ட மட்டும்தான் நமக்கு அந்த இது இருக்குது ஆனால் இந்த சில மெகலித்திக் பரிகள் சொல்லக்கூடிய அந்த பரிகல் கிரவுண்டு இருக்குது அந்த பரிகல் கிரவுண்டில் வந்து சில இருளா ட்ரைப்ஸ் என்ன பண்ணுறாங்கன்னா நீல்கிரி இருளாஸ் வந்து ஒன் சின் இயர் வந்து அவங்க ஒரு அம்மன் திருவிழா கொண்டாடுறாங்க அந்த காட்டுக்குள்ளே அப்போ முதல் நாள் திருவிழா முடிச்சுட்டு சாக்ரிஃபைஸ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு முன்னாடி வந்து இந்த மெகலித்தி இந்த த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் ஓல்டு மெகலித்தி பரியில் ஒரு பத்து பதினஞ்சு இருக்கும் அதில் வந்து ஒவ்வொருத்தரும் ஒவ்வொரு சர்க்கிளை ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ணி இவங்க எங்கள் ஏன்சஸ்டர் தான் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி வந்து அவருக்கு வந்து ட்ரெஸ்ஸு பூ எல்லாம் போட்டு அதை ரிச்சுவல் ஒரு பண்ணிவிட்டு அவங்க திருவிழா கன்வி பண்ணுறாங்க ஸோ டைரெக்டாக பெயிண்டிங் இல்லை இப்போ பெயிண்டிங்க்கு பேரலாக உள்ள அதர் ஆர்கியாலஜிக்கல் சைட்ஸோட அந்த பீப்புளோட ஒரு தொடர்பு இருக்குது ஒரு சில இடங்களில் நமக்கு பார்க்க முடியுது பல இடங்களில் அந்த லிங்க்கு கட் ஆகிடுச்சு நன்றி நன்றி ஐயா நன்றி ரியலி வி வேர் த்ரில்ட் அமேஸ்ட் பை யுவர் எக்ஸ்பெடிஷன்ஸ் பீங் மேட் அக்ராஸ் தமிழ்நாடு தேங்க்யூ சார் தேங்க்யூ சார் கைண்ட்லி டேக் எஸ் டேக் எஸ் ஆல்சோ ஃபார் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ரவுண்ட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பெடிஷன் டெஃபினிட் சார் டெஃபினிட் சார் கேன் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் சப்மிட் அப் சார் யா 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 ப்ளீஸ் uh you know uh, you know so idea was to get something which is road less traveled and also to get a hidden gem in tamil archaeology to come and present it here i'm sure i think all of you would have liked it thank you so much well this was the 176th event of cic so we have crossed a century and three fourths of the next century so it's a milestone we're very happy to have uh, lesser known gems of tamil nadu here and cic is proud to present such lesser traveled routes and uh, you know expose to audiences of this kind newer and newer experts i mean you could see the passion the passion with which a single man is carrying out his you know uh, carrying out a, a a sort of a crusade to bring out something which we know bhimbetka everyone talks about bhimbetka it's been a lot of uh, paraphernalia has been set up you go there you have beautiful i think interpretation sites and you can visit that site and there are a lot of guides and all that but here probably you will have to seek out a person like mr gandhi rajan and then he will have to explain to you and frankly i have served 37 years here and i have never seen a single site in many of the places where he mentioned i was collector there but nobody has told me about this whether it was dindigal or it was sirumalai he talked of so many places ha uh, tandikudi yeah so we have not heard about it and i hope you know his crusade will take more and more people to these sites and there is an awareness created Uh, we have promised him that we'll take him to schools also so we hope to take him to a few schools where the interest will be uh, generated because history for us is dates places 
so and so king came so and so dug wells uh, he planted trees and uh, he did this and this conquest but we don't know more than that now this is bringing history alive and uh, i think we must thank mr gandhi rajan for his crusading efforts and we must thank people like bala and others who are supporting such efforts and thank you bala for bringing him here and uh, exposing our audience to uh, mr we will come back to you with a lot many more such events we have two events coming up next week both of them will be in the iit these are both book releases we will be sending you the uh, uh, notices so this is on the 6 15th and the 16th the 15th and 16th and this would be at the iit after that sabri would you like to announce the other programs good evening ladies and gentlemen so 15th we have a book launch on back to bharat by nagraj prakasham and on 16th is uh, empowering india so that's written by uh, krishna narayanan and on 23rd we have something on theater uh, the the drama the stage play so we have uh, we have pradeep uh, pradeep and nsd bala coming here in msc so these are the three events we have planned and as of now and we have one more event yet to be planned on 29th of september thank you 29th will be on the history of the constitution uh, of british india so this is not the post independence constitution but how did the constitution actually evolve so we have a very eminent panel for the 29th also so this month is going to be pretty uh, active we hope to see more and more uh, people coming and attending these uh, events which we curate taking a lot of trouble so please uh, thank you for coming and we hope to see you again in all these events thank you